So I'm having one of them fell ass nights, you know, like where you just fail all the fucking time. Like my amp don't want to do point two five, which hey, you know what? It, probably most amps fucking don't. Uh, and the way it's wired right now, it can only be point uh, two five or one ohm, which it likes one ohm, but. Man, it only wants to do a, uh, a like a 47.3 or 5, 40, like 47.5, uh, even when I crank the voltage up. So that sucks. But, hey, you know, at least it still works at 1 ohm for right now. I need to wire it where I can do uh, 0.5 all the time. Anyway, so I put this new uh, auto control valve on there, and that ain't the fucking problem. Um, wait, and it's not a complete fail, because I, uh, I don't think my belt was slipping like it was uh, with the uh, belt dressing stuff on there but um, like tonight when I started the car I felt really good because it, it it ran pretty good like you could tell it was still running kinda of fucked up and like kinda of sputtering but it wasn't idling really high and then really low and you know like it does but then it started doing it again after a few minutes of running about five minutes it started going up and down again not like horribly bad but pretty bad so I put that part on there uh, the uh, idle control valve, and it did the same damn thing. So that wasn't a problem. Um, now on my uh, down in here, on the uh, the hose, whatever the fuck that hose is down there, probably won't be able to see it when I upload it. Uh, it's underneath my uh, intake here. My clamp wasn't on there. It was like way the fuck back, like clamping on the hose. Uh, I don't think it was clamping it bad enough to make any problems, but. Uh, you know, if I was lucky as shit, that was the problem, but I highly doubt it. Uh, now people are saying to uh, look down in here and uh, look for the uh, high idle throttle fucking thing. I don't know. Well, I think that's it. Like, way the fuck down there, all tucked under every damn thing, but I ain't fucking with it right now. Maybe need to work on my, my pillars. Also need to clean some shit up because I got some like cabinet things on. I think I'm gonna bring up in here. So uh, yeah, damn it. Well, I'm not making it out a complete failure. Check that shit out. Flush. Um, there's holes straight down in here for the speaker wire. I'm actually gonna drill them over to the side. Because these tweeters are deeper than what normally went in here. Obviously bigger. See, I've been modifying every one with my drill. Making spots for the uh, the side terminals to go through. Got a little road rash over here with the drill. Uh, it'll be in there. Uh, won't be sideways like that. Won't be cocked sideways. This one... They're fucking to get back out once I try them out and I get them in there. This one's going to be a real pain in the ass. I actually dropped this tweeter and it hit the fucking concrete. Now I tested it on my little fucking stereo over there and it still put out sound, but that scared the shit out of me. Um, but yeah, this this tweeter's not going to be like me too much by the time I'm done shoving it in and out of holes. You know what I mean? Uh, here all week, motherfuckers. But, uh, yeah, I got one more to go over here. Uh, <laughs> doing some crazy shit. Check this motherfucker out. This right here is, uh, well, let's just say I hit this little button here. And my end turns bright fucking red and hot. And that's how I'm getting my carpet off and out of the way. The little pieces of carpet and how I'm marking where I got to cut or drill <laughs> and uh, make the spots. But uh, I got three done, one more to go, and then uh, I'm going to find me some speaker wire to run up to it. I'm actually going to solder it all because uh, connectors are going to be even, you know, too fat for down in there and clog up more room. So I'm just going to solder it all and be done with it. Kick ass. Fourth one done and in. They're all ready to rock. I made it sound a lot more simple than what it is. Um, I actually I have to uh, seal those holes. Probably don't actually have to. Actually, I probably eh, might or might not. 
And on the back of here, I'm going to reinforce a little bit. Up here, I got a little crack, and I've been kind of kicking some shit with the fiberglass. I need to make it a little stronger, so. Yeah. Fucking tweeters are going to work. Just going to be a little pain of the ass getting them in there. Oh, and I'm going to probably put like a gasket around here. Or at least, I don't know, something to fill them holes when I get speakers in. All right. I don't know if you can see. It's a little shiny. I use some redneck resin. I don't know if this is going to work at all. I've never tried it before, but it seemed bright. It's good old Gorilla Glue. Now, I know it expands, so I, like, smoothed it out. So hopefully it just kind of thicken and harden, kind of like resin. So I got a hole up there in the gap, so I did kind of leave some in there. Hopefully it'll expand and make that stronger. I don't know if this will make it stronger or what it'll do or it might be a bad idea, but figure a little grill glue, strengthen up, harden up, kind of thicken a little bit. Also filled in the holes with some caulking. I said caulk. Now I gotta let it dry, but uh, I gotta go work on my other one. Well, I am tired as fuck. I think I've been dealing with this shit for like four hours, and it's fucking gonna be well worth it. <laughs> ah, but what a pain in the fucking ass. Check it out. The very last motherfucking hole, I snagged the carpet with my drill bit. I actually glued this, and then I glued this, tried to fix it, but I'll probably just stick some SpongeBob over it and say, fuck it. You see, I got the notches in this one, so they all fit, and I had to take a chisel to each of these sides. This thing was built pretty fucking good, because I was beating the fuck out of it with my chisel, trying to, uh, because those actually stuck out, like, you know, like, out pretty far, that was round, and, uh, see, that, that tweeter's pretty big, but, um, yeah. Eight of them, motherfucker. Screaming in your face. And you breaking your fucking teeth out of your dome. Or something. I don't fucking know. I've had a few beers, too. But a lot, of course. Thinking about going in and, uh... Yeah. Sitting there and staring at the fucking TV. But it's on! Screaming in your face.